Hi Sean, this is a little video on those drawer fronts and a bit hard to show this on a drawing um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of 3D on it on this video. So if you look on the top of here, I've done your 800 cabinet with a straight and a 800 cabinet with a bow front. It's got a 100 mil bow here, I think that's what you meant. And I'll just show you what's, uh, how it looks when you zoom in here on the or the butt up. Well, this is how it's turning out. That it looks like it's a three about a three mil gap a step there. I think it's a bit more, um, a bit more than that. But if you look closely here, so you could actually remedy this a little bit. I would say by moving this back. Just say a millimeter, and you'd have to take the back edge of of the drawers or the doors. Take this little edge off it here. The other thing is that these aren't rounded. I've just got them squared at the moment. It's very difficult to put a round on them. Um, just for this here, it takes ages to do, so I haven't done it. But that would hide that step as well. So you may be able to use a 100mm bow, but you have to tweak it a bit there at the back edge, and these will be rounded. Um, the other thing is when they come to make their carcass, obviously they wouldn't put the solid top around. The, the top would probably come, um, just come in here, and then follow around the, the bow front, and there'd be a little triangle space here that's empty. Or they may just not put no top here at all, just put a rail across there and that's void. If you're making the drawers with these bow fronts anyway, then there's no need for support up there because they would be covered with granite. But I suppose they could always run the, the rail over there to give a bit of support. But that would leave that little triangle as I say. Anyway, that's another issue, so let's have a little look at it. Uh, Looking down there, you can see this here is the 6mm upstand, that's the hollow, and that's the front edge, obviously. So you just, you see the, it would just, I think you just get away with it, so let's look at it in 3D. So here, let's zoom in here and see. That's what the way it would look like, looking down there, but remember that would be, these would be rounded as well, so that, that little step mightn't look too bad being rounded and all painted. That's me moving it back a little bit. And up the top here, you see the line is not too bad. You have, you have to take off that back edge, but it looks not too bad. And then the handle doesn't look too bad in here. So let's zoom around to this side. Let's keep in mind that th these will be around at these edges. So I think it would be a gore. But you'd I, to be honest with you, I think you'd best to make them up and test it. The only negative thing I see on it, the handle all looks right. It looks right at the front. The only negative thing is you have to do an operation by taking that back edge off there and there will be a little tiny step there, but I think that's acceptable there, looking down at it. You know, it's... I think you'll get away with it. The time that's rounded, and that's rounded. Um, the only other way... The only other way you could do it... Is to have a slightly different profile made for these bow ones, and you'd have to make it out of uh, probably twenty mil material or something to to lose that little two mil step there. So, and then you would you mightn't have to cut off the back edge of the if you use a twenty mil. Uh, that's only me thinking out loud. That's it. Um, you can tell me what you think. I think you should make one up before you go forward and then test it out. Um, and, yeah, take it from there. So.